A rising rap star behind bars. I am your favorite rapper. I don't care what, who the f you like. I am your favorite singer. His two friends murdered a complex criminal case. I think it's about time for us to get justice. They want you to believe that he's a cold-hearted murderer. This is a closer look at the YNW Melly double murder trial, which is taking center stage for a second time. Hello there, I'm Marissa Bag. Twists, turns, sickness, and surprises created delays along the way and brought us to where we are now, the start of a second trial. Let's take a look at how we got here. Round two, trying Jamel Demons for the shooting deaths of two longtime friends, comes with a new jury, new defense attorneys, and even a new prosecutor. The first trial spanned April to July of last year, featured 16 days of testimony and evidence, uncooperative witnesses, delays due to sickness, and in the end, a deadlocked jury. What if we can't come to a decision? Question mark. After 24 hours of deliberations, the judge declared a mistrial. In the end, attorneys say one juror who favored Demons refused to convict him and convinced two other jurors to vote not guilty along with her. Prosecutors would have to start all over with a new trial. You know, the hard part of a mistrial like this is the state has showed their cards, for lack of a better term. They showed their strategy, they showed their good facts, their bad facts. That being said, so did the defense. They highlighted their strategy. So both sides now kind of know the playbook that the other was working with. Prosecutors allege Demons shot and killed Christopher Thomas Jr. and Anthony Williams in an SUV in October of 2018. And then, along with a co-defendant, staged a drive-by shooting near the Everglades and claimed they were all victims. In the weeks before jury selection for the second trial started, defense attorneys filed dozens of motions, some claiming wrongdoing by lead Miramar police detective Mark Moretti. Other motions alleged that the state attorney's office withheld information information. Because she could be called to testify as a witness, the prosecutor who had worked the case for five years, Christine Bradley, was removed from the case. Just 48 hours before the new trial began, a new prosecutor, Alex Buckaloo, was assigned to the case. She co-prosecuted three men who were convicted in the killing of rapper XXX Tentacion. In her first move as prosecutor, Buckaloo asked the judge for more time to get up to speed. You're asking me at least until December to have somewhat of a chance to learn this case. Defense attorneys pushed for a quick start to satisfy a speedy trial, and jury selection for the retrial began in October. With a new prosecutor on the case, it remains to be seen how different the state's presentation will be a second time around. The events that led up to the two murders remain in question. The defense and the state will play up their versions of what they say happened. The rapper says that he and his friends were victims of an ambush. The state says that the rapper was the mastermind of a cold, calculated crime. We'll take a close look at the key pieces of evidence that paint a gruesome picture of what played out that fateful night in October. For almost five years, Jamel Demons has lived at the Broward County Jail. The rising South Florida rap artist turned in colorful clothes for a jumpsuit, left behind his microphone for a jail cell. In October of 2018, two of his closest friends and half of the YNW Music Collective, Christopher Thomas Jr. and Anthony Williams, were shot and killed in an SUV. Demons, widely known as YNW Melly, became the prime suspect. The only person every piece of evidence points to is this defendant. Janelle Demons has committed two counts of first degree murder. That is now recused prosecutor Christine Bradley, who has since been removed from the case. 
Surveillance video shows Melly with Thomas and Williams leaving New Era Recording Studio in Fort Lauderdale the night of the murders. His co-defendant, Cortland Henry, was at the wheel of a gray Jeep with Melly and the victims inside. Investigators say Henry drove the foursome out to the Everglades in far west Broward County, where Melly opened fire on Thomas and Williams, killing them inside of the SUV. Forensic evidence presented in court showed the deadly gunfire came from the back seat on the driver's side. Anthony Williams was shot in the back of the head. That was planned for when he was sleeping so that he could not fight back. That was a premeditated, planned killing of Anthony Williams. According to Miramar police, Henry and Melly then got out of the Jeep and fired several more shots into the right side of the car. Henry then drove the SUV to Memorial Hospital Miramar and told authorities there that they were all victims of a drive-by shooting. And they want you to believe that he's a cold-hearted murderer. When quite to the contrary, you saw the tapes. You saw that he's a... A nice young man and a professional. The defense argues Melly was home sleeping when the murders happened, having switched cars on the ride home. They also claim his phone was used by someone else, and that explains why cell phone records shows it remained in the Jeep during the murders. My firstborn, he was everything to us. Leandra Phillips is Christopher Thomas's mother. She felt watching the first trial was painful. She wants Melly held accountable. We both is taking it hard, you know. It's been a long process. It's almost it's four years going on five. I think it's about time for us to get justice. Phillips questions whether Melly understands the gravity of the situation, especially when he was seen blowing a kiss in court. You sitting over there like you don't got no remorse. Like every time I walk in, you smiling, you know, this ain't the time for that. This case is sad. This is serious. Somebody that we knew, this somebody that we loved, this somebody that we trusted. Like we watched him grow up literally. So this is like a sad case. It's a tragic and we, we just praying for justice. W. Melly is no stranger to the law, as this isn't his first time in custody. As the rapper gained popularity on the hip hop scene, his legal troubles also grew. But who is YNW Melly, and what's the message behind his music? We take a look. YNW Melly gained popularity as a young rap artist by making music about weapons, violence, and money. He's been in jail five years now, accused of doing what he rapped about. Ain't nobody make it out of here. Melly, whose real name is Jamel Demons, chased stardom from a very young age. Born in the small town of Giffords, Florida, outside of Vero Beach, the 24-year-old boasted about getting out of there. Melly's mother, Jamie Demons King, was just 15 when Melly was born. She says he was outgoing from the start. If you played music or anything like that, oh, he was down to dance. He was ready to dance and perform, always. Just as his music career started to take off, so did his life in the criminal justice system. In late 2015, Melly was arrested for shooting at a group of students near Vero Beach High School. A conviction led to serving several months in prison for aggravated battery and assault. While incarcerated, he joined the YNW Collective and started releasing music, the biggest hit called Murder on My Mind. Music videos of his songs amassed 200 million views on YouTube by early 2019, with one song featuring Kanye West. His arrest for double homicide in February of 2019 put a year-long pause on making music for Melly. And then again, from behind bars, Melly was able to release songs including a collaboration with rapper Kodak Black. The music was put together with pre-recorded vocals prior to his arrest.
Now at 24 years old, Jamel Demons has lived one quarter of his life in custody. His music life intertwined with his criminal life. The double murder charges he faces stem from the 2018 killings of two childhood friends and members of the YNW Collective. Anthony Williams, known as YNW Sack Chaser, and Christopher Thomas Jr., known as YNW Juvie. The man accused of helping him attempt to cover up the crimes was also part of the collective. His name is Cortland Henry, or YNW Bortland. Henry is also behind bars charged with two counts of murder, as well as accessory after the fact. Regulars in his life and in his 20-minute documentary, Melly appeared close with his alleged victims and co-defendant. Now the state might use the music they made together against Demons in his second murder trial. Court filings show the prosecutor intends to introduce music and lyrics from more than 55 songs, including Murder on My Mind, a song where Demons describes killing a friend by accidentally shooting him twice. His defense team immediately asked the judge to stop the state from being able to use Demons' music and lyrics as evidence. Demon's music career appears to be on a permanent hold now as his second double murder trial gets underway. Demons now faces a new jury as his defense team challenges a new prosecutor and there could very well be more twists in this new retrial. We will cover every moment as it happens on air on the NBC6 app and online. That's it for our special on the YNW double murder retrial. Thank you for watching.